Hello and welcome back to Biocapsules. Here in this video, we'll be discussing about the lytic and lysogenic cycle in bacteriophages. So let's start with the topic. The bacteriophages uses two methods for their multiplication or application. One is lytic cycle and another is lysogenic cycle. So first start with the lytic cycle. In a lytic cycle, when a bacteriophage infects the bacterial cell, it injects its DNA, that is viral DNA, into the host cell. Now this viral DNA synthesizes some protein uh, which degrades or breaks down the bacterial genome. Okay. Now this degradation of the bacterial genome allows the bacteriophage to take the control over the cellular machinery of the bacterial cell. Okay, now when the bacteriophage takes the control over the cellular machinery of the bacterial cell, it starts producing new phase particle in the bacterial cell. Okay, so during this process, the host cell become gradually weakened by the phase enzyme and eventually burst out, releasing new phase particle in the surrounding environment. In this way, the infected bacterial cell produces new phase particle and these new phase particle then reinfects other bacterial cells in the environment. Now let's see what happens in lysogenic cycle. So in lysogenic cycle, when a phase injects its DNA into the host cell, this linear phase DNA becomes circular and gets itself integrated into the bacterial genome by recombination where this viral DNA stays silent or dormant for many years. Now this integrated phase DNA is called prophase. Okay. Now every time when this host cell divides, this viral DNA also gets replicated along with bacterial genome and transfer to the progenesis. Now, if by any chance this bacterial cell gets exposed to some uh, mutagenic agent such as uh, UV radiation in certain chemicals, this viral DNA gets activated and it excises itself from the bacterial genome and becomes circular and starts lytic cycle from this stage. Okay. So, the major difference between the lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle is in lytic cycle, the host cell is died at the end of a process, whereas in lysogenic cycle, the host cell remains alive. Okay, that's all in this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share with your friends, and do subscribe my channel. Thank you.